Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and in today's video, I'll discuss the differences between Elasticsearch and Splunk. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between Elasticsearch and Splunk is their pricing. Elasticsearch is a free app. This means that once you install the app, you can use all its features at no cost. However, you must integrate it with the Kaibana tool, which costs $45 monthly. Kaibana helps you with data visualization, among other functions, on Elasticsearch. On the other hand, Splunk has paid plans that start from $75 a month. Splunk comes with a free trial period of 15 days. You should know that when using Splunk, you don't need Kibana. Please note that these fees are charged currently but are subject to change in the future. Therefore, Elasticsearch is more cost-efficient. Personalization Elasticsearch performs database roles, which include data and log searches. This makes it a tool suitable for general functions and can be used by small and medium enterprises. It is very configurable and has robust dashboard personalization functions, making user interaction easy and quick. Comparatively, Splunk offers commercial functionality and is convenient to use by large companies. It allows for structured and semi-structured data analysis, visualization, and storage. Splunk comes with an exciting user interface with the necessary tools to get the work done. However, it doesn't offer many customization features, such as cool background themes and outstanding visualizations. Therefore, Elasticsearch has more personalization features which help in user interface optimization. Data Migration Elasticsearch requires you to involve manual data definition by mapping the field type to the value of each data. This is because Elasticsearch lacks pre-installed wizards to help it achieve this function. Therefore, the data migration process becomes very time-consuming, making Elasticsearch less reliable. Splunk, on the other hand, has pre-configured tools that allow the user to map data into entities and direct them to their values. The pre-loaded wizards help the user manage resources, enhancing Splunk's efficiency. Therefore, Splunk is more effective for data migration. But do they have any similarities? Yes, both apps allow you to absorb data and visualize it with the help of web-based user interfaces. Elasticsearch and Splunk also help businesses perform a detailed analysis of data logs. To sum up, which is better, Elasticsearch or Splunk? Both apps are plentiful, depending on your needs. I found Splunk to have an easy-to-use interface, making it time-efficient. It also comes with ready-to-use features, which enhances its reliability. However, I found one of its drawbacks to be cost. The price for Splunk's plan is relatively expensive compared to Elasticsearch. On the other hand, I was intrigued by the efficiency of Elasticsearch in user interface personalization. The Kibana tool helps you personalize your interface, thus enhancing ease of use and productivity. Additionally, Elasticsearch is a free software, which gives it an edge over Splunk. For these reasons, I pick Elasticsearch as the ultimate winner. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.